Hey, hey, YouTube family. How you doing? This is Rhonda with Rhonda Loves Life. Thanks for joining me. All right, I had to do this quick video. I could not sit on it. All right, Meghan Markle and then Victus Games. You know, she's gone over there and uh, first of all, Harry declared to the audience that his wife is 43% Nigerian, so they're gonna cheer for the Nigerian team. And then of course, Megan goes over there and she's got taking pictures with one of the uh, uh, the Nigerian uh, athletes. And then she's got, they're doing some kind of clap, check out the pictures with um, the Nigerian team. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. But the reason why I want to do the video is because I, you know, I realize WME is working overtime. They're trying to milk every event that she goes to to try and promote this girl. So Megan never had black friends now. She never even identified with black for over 40 years. And then now all of a sudden she has to find a place where she can fit in. So she, now she's desperately clamoring to the black card. Yeah, she, they're, her and Harry are playing the race card, but they got to go way over to and teach you the Nigerian team, the Africans, uh, because the African-Americans, we're not falling for Megan. We are not. We see, we see you, Megan. Megan wanted nothing to do with African until she stumbled upon that hornet's nest that she created herself. And now she's got an institution that's over a thousand years old that is, uh, that's that big shadow that envelops her. She did all of this to herself. She did this. So now she's clamoring and claiming the black card. You know why? Because she has no place else to go. She's burnt all bridges. So she's like, black people, please accept me. I'm 43% Nigerian. So what? I'm 36% Nigerian. And, oh, you know, what, 11% Mali and... 14% Scottish and 10% Wales. I mean, <laughs> but I am an African-American woman and I've always had a diverse group of friends. Yeah, I'm black, but I have a diverse group of friends and I know what I am. I, I don't have any issues with identifying with being African-American. Megan, on the other hand, wanted nothing to do with African-Americans. Let me just tell you, no blacks, not even Africans, not even Caribbeans, uh, not even black Brazil. She wanted nothing, nothing black. And she said it to my Mar Mariah Carey. So all of a sudden now, because all of her options are running out, she wants to claim uh, that she's what, is it 43% Nigerian? And now she wants to cheer for the Nigerians. Uh, Megan, and you notice that she, they say that she's put some bronzer on to look darker. Yeah, because first Megan took peels, I think, to make herself lighter. You know, like Michael Jackson did. And it's, it, listen, if that's what you want to do, I think something's wrong with it when you start taking light. I, I, I just do. But if that's what you want to do, fine. But she was trying to erase her ethnicity. She was, you know, chemically straightened her hair, which is nothing wrong with it. But if your goal is to erase anything black or of African descent, then that's self-hatred. So now she wants to come around now and pretend that she's embracing black. The only reason why she's embracing it is because that's her only card to play. She's out of options. She is out of options. Now, my question to you, do you think people buy it because we not i'm not buying what wme is selling sorry wme and ari i think listen they say ari is a powerhouse hey i respect that but megan markle i am watching and my question to you guys is this are you buying what they're selling megan markle is now black when 40 plus years she never even identified with that she chemically treated her hair uh, got plastic surgery on her nose and this chin. She was trying to move all ethnicity from her. And she's, I believe she took pills to get lighter, um, to lighten her skin. Now she's doing bronzers now to appear darker. That's why I think that Tyler Perry and Oprah, they want to market her in Tyler Perry movies as a black female. 
and I'm going to watch it. I'm keeping my eyes on you too, Tyler Perry and Oprah, because I want to know why is it that Tyler Perry and Oprah are pushing for this girl when Oprah and them had, they had actually blackballed Monique, the comedian, and actress Monique. She was a, she's an Oscar winner. Did you see her in Precious? She is an exceptional actress. And because she stood up to Oprah and them, they blackballed her for a couple of years. And then it took 50 Cent, who's a, a, a uber millionaire, 10 times, 100 times over. Uh, and he had powered, you know, those shows on stars. It's really good, actually. So he came and gave her a chance. But if he did not, Oprah and them were going, nobody would hire her. But then Oprah and Tyler want to take Megan under your wings when you get all of these talented black actresses out here who who's worked decades in the game. I'm watching you, Tyler and Oprah. I got my eyes on you and I will be reporting. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching my video. I got to get back to work as you can hear the bing from my computer. But you guys have a great day. I will probably post another video in a couple of hours. I love this topic, but listen, do you think it'll work? Megan is now black. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Leave your comments in the chat and I'll chat with you soon. Love you. Ciao.